We've been fighting for a long time in Syria. Last December, U.S. President Donald Trump shocked many by announcing a full withdrawal of all 2,000 U.S. troops from Syria. Now, the country's top man on Syria is on damage control. This is not going to be an abrupt or a rapid withdrawal. It's going to be an orderly, step-by-step -step withdrawal. Uh, and at each uh, point, at each phase, we're going to look at our underlying goals that I just laid out and ensure that uh, uh, we have uh, means, capabilities, and partners that can uh, carry them out for us. President Trump may have announced the end of ISIL in Syria, but many allies in Europe still feel any withdrawal of U.S. troops is premature. France's Foreign Minister Jean-Vierve Le Drian called the move a mystery, saying it would risk bolstering the influence of the West's worst adversaries, a view shared by much of Europe. It means that the United States will create a military void there, which will be filled by Assad, by the Russian forces, by Hezbollah and Iran. So it's a completely unpredictable and uh, irritating and disappointing decision which will make uh, a Western influence in this uh, troubled region much more uh, uh, complicated. Turkey would agree. Ankara has been fighting the Syrian Kurdish forces, the YPG, in northern Syria, and fears the U.S. withdrawal from the area would allow their enemy to gain more control, a move Ankara is adamantly against. Meanwhile, Iran's foreign minister attacked U.S. foreign policy on Sunday, calling Washington the single biggest source of destabilization in the Middle East. Iraqi lawmakers are demanding the withdrawal of U.S. forces from their land. And after more than 18 years of failure in Afghanistan, the United States is now negotiating with the Taliban to withdraw American forces from Afghanistan. The widening differences between world governments and the Trump administration over a number of issues were made clear during the three-day summit, which saw hundreds of heads of state, defense ministers and senior policymakers gather in Munich to discuss the world's most pressing security concerns. The conflict in Syria has been a topic at this security conference for many years, yet it would appear world leaders are no closer to finding a solution. In his closing remarks, conference chairman Wolfgang Ischinger alluded to fundamental flaws in the international system, yet also emphasized that diplomacy can work if efforts are focused on, if the timing is right, and if the political will is there. Natalie Carney for CGTN at the Munich Security Conference.